Hey guys, welcome back to Soul Space, the space that fills your soul with adventure biking and cool garage hacks. Uh, this one is about years 2019 through 21, KTM 790 and 890, the elusive chain tension diagram that seems to bring up a lot of questions. And then we'll cover a couple hacks with that that I've noticed, as well as a chain lube hack that I have. So stick around, it's a short and sweet, but hey, it's springtime, let's get it done. Okay, so there's been a lot of questions uh, on the internet regarding the chain tension and the really uh, confusing diagram that's on the swing arm or in the manual. Um, I, from the best that I could deduce, I uh, have read the manual up here and actually have a picture here in this corner at 25 millimeters behind the chain guide, the plastic chain guide, you push the chain up and there should be two to five millimeters of space before it hits the actual metal of the swing arm. So if we looked here, this is the actual chain guide. So what they're talking about is right here and it's the distance they're calling it is 25 millimeters or roughly an inch. So you go an inch back from the end of this where it stops and you go an inch back, push up the chain and it's hard to, I don't have the right angle. I'll zoom in underneath, but there should be, so there's airspace there. Well, to give you an idea what two to five millimeters is, this pencil thickness and everyone's number two pencil is seven millimeters. So half of a pencil is a pretty good gauge. So in other words, if you were to have a little piece like this kicking around and shoved it up in there, if it's, uh, if it's, you know, if it's hitting the pencil and you got room to go, you're probably okay. If you can't pinch the pencil, you're a little too tight. That's the way that I understand it. And so I have set mine. I may even adjust it just a little bit uh, tighter. I'm going to take this off the cradle. And uh, it kind of goes underneath. There's this outer part here, but you see my finger actually goes underneath. So it's another bit under there that you need to really kind of gauge at because that chain guide is about an inch further back. So if I take this out, there's the end of it. Come in, we'll call it, a link is just about an inch. So you go in, then you go about one inch and push up on it. And you see that I have less than a pencil. I'm not touching. It will not hit. It shows that you use a, well, up here, it's pretty much what I'm doing. Going back 25 or one link and then push up. So that's what I've been doing. And it, it seems like there's an awful lot of slop for a chain. I mean, my street bikes were never like that, but this swing arm might have some different geometry. But that's what I've been going by. And um, until I hear different, post in the comments. All right, guys, here's a cool little chain oiling uh, or to oiling or I guess uh, lube being hack that I do sometimes. Um, I always wondered where is the best place to apply it, you know, while spinning the wheel um, so that I don't get it on any brake rotors or in areas where uh, dust and mud will collect on it. So I came up with a neat little idea just to tear this off a piece of cardboard. You can get it at any convenience store, whatever. If you can find something along these lines, paper bag, just shove it down the back like this. And then uh, I like to hit it kind of right in here, at going in the, as you call it, counterclockwise direction, and get it on the insides. The real the, with a with a O-ring uh, or sealed sealed chain. Um, really, all that lube is actually used for is to protect the actual uh, surface of the chain and the inside, maybe against the sprocket uh, teeth itself. The, the pivot points of the chain are, are, are sealed and lubed. So, you know, there's a lot of videos on choices for that. Uh, and that just gets it all onto the, key, onto the uh, cardboard. And I'll do a ring around the outside plates or a lap on the outside plates. And then I'll do a lap 
on the inside. There we go. And then I'll come around to the other side and do the inside of the chain. And then uh, I'll let it dry and I'm usually good for a bit. 